Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. Well first, we're gonna do quick predictions and then we're gonna head back home and do WrestleMania for you guys. I'm your host Stephen Wolf and my co-host David Wolf. We are here to give you WWE Super 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 Showdown predictions. The first matchup of the card is what, David? John Cena and Lashley against Owens and Elias. Jeremy stands for Walk with Elias. Now, I don't see them winning. I don't. I don't see them winning. I don't see it because Elias has not gotten a championship shot yet. And lastly, might be a might be a that though. I don't know about lastly, but all I do know is. He's in line for a championship soon. So. That was weird. I'm going with John Cena and Bobby Lashley for the win. Well, we don't know how the match is going to end. This could end in a draw. Really? You choose a draw. Okay, I choose that. He chooses a draw. Well, I, can, I would choose Cena and Lashley, but I think it might end in a draw. Next match, except for one fall. Oh yes, match where we predicted. On one of our screens. Smackdown Women's Championship. On one of our streams, you've seen it. We both predicted it was going to be Becky. Because three attacks on Charlotte, but yet Charlotte managed to retaliate. But that usually means they might either lose and get a rematch, or they win a title. As many times I've seen wrestling, it can go either way. Sorry, Becky. Even though we predicted in our stream who's going to win... Charlotte might take her title back, unless uh, they're going to they're change something. But I made the mistake last time not picking Becky, so I'm going with Becky Lynch. I still think that, that Charlotte could win the title here, it's just that I'm not sure how. He says Charlotte, I say Becky, let's get to that next match. Oh, the Iconics against Asuka and Naomi. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay, let's take it last <laughs> night on... Yeah, what's up, mm -hmm. <laughs> People with share sushi, so... Why'd you get a wasabi one? I didn't get the mean to get the one that's wasabi. <clears throat> anyway, you were saying? Ah. I saw that segment last night on Raw with the, on SmackDown that the Iconics did. That I, Honestly, Flawless looks kind of cringe. Uh, um, I doubt the Icon's gonna beat Oscar. They better not bury her anymore. If they do, I'm gonna be pissed. They still could. So I'm going with my girl Naomi and Oscar. And who does David pick? I'm thinking Oscar and Naomi too, but do you want to tell me about this? I think they might add a match. Yeah. I think they're going to add Bruce Dev and Aiden English. Plus that match takes place in the Survivor Series. Oh. AJ Styles and Joe for the WWE Championship. No disqualification. That's going to be tough. This is a tough call. I know Scott's going to probably pick AJ Styles. So, this feud's been going for a good while. What is the second shot? Bro, for Joe, his third. He lost, he, he lost, he won by disqualification at SummerSlam. Lost the match at Hell in a Cell. This is his third shot at the title. So I say, third time a charm. No one's guy, he's probably going to pick AJ. So, I bet you he is. I'm gonna pick Samoa Joe because usually the third time's a charm. Usually, 
Half the time, third time to charm. I mean, come on. You win three in a row, then... Well, AJ won three in a row again. Went to two draws against Nagamura before finally beating him. I mean, third time could be a charm here, David. So I'm going to say Joe. Well, you heard, the, you saw a segment on SmackDown last night with AJ. He's like, he's going to bury Joe alive. If that happens, I'll be shopping. Whoa. And then again, you know what? Yeah. Just in case, I know Scott's going to pick him. I'm going to pick AJ Styles. And it, hopefully it happens, and I did not make a mistake there. And who does David pick? AJ Styles. There's no chance that AJ loses the title now. I think I'm looking at more of along the lines of TLC. Hopefully we get the results. It's about to air at 5 a.m. in the morning in the e in the U.S. on the eastern on the East Coast. Mm. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Matt, it looks like it was just added for the Cruiserweight Championship. Cedric Alexander versus Buddy Murphy. No one has Buddy Murphy? I don't think so. Hmm. It's a stretch. But Murphy might do it. This is only Buddy Murphy's second title again. Hmm. It could also be a close one. Remember the last thing they had a close match? Which one? Well, didn't they face before and they had a close match? Yeah, I can see, the only thing I can see Buddy Murphy wins matches is if Wesley Blake gets involved. So, I'm going to say, without a doubt, if Buddy Murphy does it, I pick him. I feel like Cedric Alexander might hold on here, but I'm not sure because he's had the title since WrestleMania. I think it's about time to drop it. I mean, I, I mean, that's my, that's just me. We're doing our predictions as fast as we can so we can get back home and do our WrestleMania. Stick Woman Tag, the Riot Squad versus Nick Ronda Rousey and the Bell and the Bella Twins. Now, Lynn Morgan might not be in this match. He's got, he's got the game contest. He might not be in this match. This might be Alicia Fox teaming with Ruby Riot and the, and, Liv, and Sarah Logan. Hey, people, do you hear that? Do you hear the chant? I hear Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Yeah! Rousey's about to get whooped on the Wyatt squad. He's gonna whip him. Whip him good. Think about this, guys. Because of the botch that Brie Bella did, this might not be the match. They, they might not. Liv Morgan might not be in this match. It might be at least a Fox team with a Ruby Riot and Sarah Logan. I have faith in Rousey. And if, and if they somehow pull an upset, they might get a title shot, which is never gonna happen, hopefully. Well, this, is supposed, well, this may have been. Evolution is supposed to be Nikki and Ronda. They might be start playing the seeds for that Saturday at Super Showdown. Unless they're wrong. And that's just a tease. Time. Almost one. We gotta hurry back. What's next? New Day versus The Bar for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Really? Shut up. That's not how you eat a sushi. This is how you eat a sushi. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're messing it up. Is that tofu I'm tasting? I think so. Oh my god, it is tofu. Yeah, tofu or feta? I think it's tofu. Mmm. No way, what? Tofu has no flavor, and yet it tastes like it. Oh, wait. That's feta. Either that's some other kind of cheese that tastes all smooth like that. But anyway, we're getting off track here. Um, New Day in the bar. The bar, how many times they had a shot? 
this is the first time in the SmackDown Tag Team titles. If my guy, Xavier, is competing, I'm going to say... It might be Biggie and Kofi. And plus, they might try and take the titles here. Well, the bar's already beaten. Kofi and Biggie in one-on-one -on -one matches. Is that a sign? Is that a sign? Is that a sign? Mmm, that's not bad fish. That's salmon. I love salmon. Hmm. Scott's probably gonna pick the new day. So I'll risk it. I'll pick new day because the third person might cause interference, like they did with their previous title run. Maybe we don't know. All right, is that everybody? I'm that type of match. I got every match. Let's do a couple more. I, I mean, can. we're doing as fast as we can, people, so we can get on home and do WrestleMania for y'all. Yeah, Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. Um, hmm. Miz attacked Daniel Bryan last night on SmackDown. So there has to be an indication that he's going to lose. I see Bryan winning here. Unless Miss Selma Cool interferes. Well, we're reaching me. Whatever. I mean... I can see that happening. Then, oh, can you imagine this cop being like, I'm with David. The only reason why Blake Murphy wins the Cruiserweight Championship is if Wesley Blake interferes in the match. But I think I see Daniel Bryan winning. Because after all the punishments he's been through with the ridiculous Miz and his wife and being coward, I mean, come on. You're going to make him lose again? I choose Daniel Bryan. Well, Scott says that Bryan might lose this match, win the Rumble, and win the title of Mania. I still go with Daniel Bryan to win this match. Whoever, whoever loses this match is whoever is going to win the next year's Rumble. The Shield versus the, the Pack, Strowman, Ziggler, and McIntyre. <laughs> hmm. Pack. Shield. And the thing about the Shield is, I think they're start, already they starting to plant the seeds for a Ambrose heel turn, but I think they're talking about possibly McIntyre turning on Ziggler and Strowman at, at this event. I see that happening. I see it happening. So, just like my Dark Queens, I'm going with the Shield. They're going to stick together for a long while. Well, actually, they're supposed to be doing it. A, a, it's gotta be a, they're gonna start playing the seeds for that split up at the Rumble. Because they're talking about a steel triple threat at Mania. Reigns versus Rollins versus Ambrose. Alright. Uh, you pick the what? The Hounds? I pick the Hounds of Justice. Yeah, I pick the Shield. I think the last match on here is Undertaker Triple H last time ever. And everyone says it's gonna be Undertaker that is victorious. I mean, why would you pick Undertaker? Why did everyone pick Undertaker? I don't get it. Undertaker, I adore you. I'm a big, huge fan of yours. But let Triple A get a point. I choose Triple A. They're still showing highlights from the last match they had at Mania 27, the Hell in a Cell match. Mania 28, I mean. Alright. I made my pick. Who do you pick? Hang on, let's go. Well, and we keep forgetting about this. It's Undertaker versus Triple H with Kane in Undertaker's corner and John Michaels in Triple H. Unless they're teasing a tag team match. Then. They are teasing it because it's supposed to happen at Crown Jewel in November. It's supposed to be DX versus the Brothers of Destruction, which would probably the possibly set up Michaels versus Undertaker next year's Mania. This is a tough call. Both sides can interfere at any moment. I'm probably going to regret this. I'm probably gonna regret this. And plus losing this little prediction. I'm gonna regret this and say the Undertaker. I mean, come on. How old is he? He's like in his what, 50s? 50, yeah. They're both in their 50s, I think, actually. I think Triple H is maybe, might be a year younger, a year or two younger than Undertaker. Taker, please don't prove me wrong. Please. And David's last pick is. I'm gonna say. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen in this match, because if you got Michaels and Tr Kane involved and they're each, each, in each corner, this match could go to a draw, could go to a di double disqualification. 
Oh boy, he says double, 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 disqualification. That's it, everyone. We're about to head out right now to go do WrestleMania. We'll see y'all there. On Rusev Day.